Hello guys, and today I'm going to try and eat, well, try, um, I'm going to try and eat it, but um, it doesn't sound like in some sort of, um, you know, I shouldn't say that because I don't think it's going to be bad, I should actually like this, okay? Um, I've got a pack here of nine Kit Kat dark mint chocolate bars, okay? And basically these are like chocolate type biscuit type things, but they're actually because I've got wafers in them, okay? So this is a pack of nine. On the back, it says, are you a stirrer, made to be stirred? No idea what any of that's about. Um, it also has, um, it says, Kit Kat supports improving the lives of cocoa farmers and quality of cocoa through the Nestle Cocoa Planet and by working with the Rainforest Alliance. And that's got an icon there. That. And also the um, Rainforest Alliance logo there. Um, it also says know your bar. One bar equals one serving. And a bar means, well, I may say one bar, but it's actually two technically. But what we call, they call one bar is actually two. So um, there you go. Obviously, they don't know the um, English language very well. And it says a Kit Kat break is part one of life's little pleasures, best enjoyed as part of a balanced diet and active lifestyle. So there, isn't that there? And I've also got the um, Good Food, Good Life Nestle logo. And they mention various ingredients as well. Now. And for some reason, they don't want you to recycle this. Yes, don't recycle. I'm not even making this up. But I know that I can, because it says TerraCycle, I know that means I can recycle it at um, my local Tesco, even though they say you can't, because Tesco have a special scheme for recycling this kind of stuff, which can't normally be recycled in the bin. Um, which is collected tomorrow. Okay, it says sust sustainably sourced cocoa. Anyway, enough of all this. Let's open it up. So now I've shown you the back. Open this up, and inside you notice they've got packs of two. You can also sometimes buy Kit Kats which have. Port. You'll understand what I mean by two in a moment, but this has basically got two things. You'll understand why in a moment, but you can sort of get some that are twice as big as this, which have fours instead. Okay, it's basically nine packs of two. Okay, and so it's dark, dark mint. The other also said um, dark mint, and it says 103 calories, and this says 103 calories as well, so I'm assuming that's each of these. Um, so we're just I'm going to take the wrapping off, take the silver foil off, and now if you've ever seen Kit Kats before, you'll know they look like this. And you break them deliberately, and each of these is covered completely in chocolate on the outside. But when you break the inside, you see it's got wafer. Each of these has got wafer on the inside, so it's basically a basically chocolate covered wafer type biscuits, okay? But they're usually in the sweet section. So these are actually in the sweet section, even though um, you might see them as biscuits in a way, okay? It's like having after eight combined with uh, a wafer, okay? So this is dark chocolate. Um, I actually like dark chocolate more than milk chocolate a lot of the time. Dark chocolate is often associated with mint, so dark chocolate goes very well with mint. Um, It's really strange, it's like having an after eight combined with 
the way for the Kit Kat. So, we're saying that's what you expect. But often, in these kind of things, you have things like chocolates like with fries, but they usually have some sort of creamy thing in the middle. And I'm going to have to write to have some creamy thing in the middle, but instead of having a creamy thing, like I said, they've got this um, wafer instead. So, it is very juicy, it's almost like bittersweet, not quite sweet, but almost sort of like sweet in its own way and sour in the, at the same time in its own way. Do I like it? Yes. Will I get some more from time? Probably depending on the price, but otherwise, yes. Do I prefer the standard um, milk chocolate Kit Kats? Because your, your typical Kit Kat just, just looks exactly the same, pretty much. In fact, it has milk chocolate on the outside and nothing in the milk chocolate, okay? Obviously, it's got milk in the milk chocolate, but you get my point, and cocoa pepper, but you get my point. There's nothing, it's not like you put mint in or orange, and you can get orange flavour as well. It's just a standard milk chocolate flavour on the outside, so there you go. But the wafer itself is unaltered. So I haven't changed the wafer inside to the way it would be on a normal Kit Kat. I've only changed the coating on the outside, okay? Um, there you go, guys. Kit Kat Dark Mint. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye!